The Great Goners were a family of travelling circus performers, active from 1925 till their untimely demise in 1942. Their troupe was led by ringmaster and amateur magician Klaus the Magnificent. He was joined by Alina the Acrobat, Nico the Strongman, Pickles the Wonder Dog, and their newest member, Sicko the Clown. Sicko was discovered one night as the troupe arrived in Texas. He was spotted walking along Route 66, naked and covered in what Klaus thought to be dried ketchup. Assuming this was some form of cutting-edge, experimental clowning, Klaus immediately offered him a job, much to the concern of Alina and Nico. Their first and last show of Sicko was August 9th, 1942. In addition to the troupe's usual mind-bending illusions and feats of physical prowess, the audience was treated to a very special performance from Sicko, during which he mutilated children's toys with a homemade guillotine and arranged their parts into letters spelling out HA HA on the floor. <laughs> Despite receiving several complaints from the audience, Klaus found Sicko's act hilarious and allowed him to sleep in the wagon with the rest of the troupe. The following morning, 10-year-old newspaper delivery boy Charlie Olson was riding past their campsite when he noticed a strong odor coming from the open cabin door. He peeked inside where he discovered a scene of absolute horror. The butchered remains of Klaus, Nico, and Alina were scattered throughout the cabin. The words, ha ha, had been painted on the walls in their blood. Sicko was nowhere to be found. Local sheriff and mayoral candidate Elvis Montoya Jackson was put in charge of the case. He vowed to find the monster responsible and put them behind bars. Seeing where this was going, 10-year-old newspaper boy Charlie Olson fled the country. He was last seen in a tavern in Guatemala drinking a cola. In Charlie's absence, the sheriff pinned the murders on Pickles the Wonder Dog, who was immediately arrested and taken into custody. Having developed a taste for human blood, Pickles escaped captivity after attacking a prison guard and hitching a ride on a supply truck. He was never seen again. This was much to the disappointment of then Texas Governor Walter Quip, who had recently endorsed Sheriff Jackson in the mayoral race. No one knows what really happened to the Garners that night, or the whereabouts of Sicko the Clown. To this day, people still claim to see him, bloody and naked, walking along Route 66. If you do, remember. It isn't a demonstration of cutting-edge experimental clowning, it's a serial killer.